Okay, thanks a lot. Well, this is the first day of spring, and during the vernal equinox, special things are supposed to take place between the Earth and the Moon. Mystical things, like the gravitational pull, which is supposed to allow us to stand an egg on end. Can it be done? I don't <laughs> know if I can make it work. It's well, we're going to call in an expert who might be able to have the answers. Dr. Phil Platt, he's with Sonoma State University. How, How did you do this? It's, it's not magic. See it's just guys? practice. <laughs> I've done this many, many times. Can you do this any day of the week? You can do this any day of the year. The vernal equinox has absolutely nothing to do with it. Oh. This is an old legend. It's actually an old Chinese legend uh, that on the first day of what they call spring, it's Li Chun, you can stand an egg on end. Uh, I think my, I want to switch eggs here. <laughs> the, I think my egg's deformed. Okay. Actually, I tried with these eggs last night, and I was able to get all six of them to stand. Okay, um, stop it. You're just ruining my theory. <laughs> but you can do it any day of the year. I actually have pictures on my website where uh, I show myself standing eight eggs on end from a carton in October. And so really it has nothing to do with, uh, with the vernal equinox. You can just, you can get up any old day and do this. Uh, my <laughs> family, we because do this, this at is, family get-togethers. This get is really fun. <laughs> it actually is kind of fun. If you, once you get practice with it, oh, you're going to cheat and use a pen over there no, and no, hold no, it up? No, 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 I was taking it away out of her, out of, I, oh, I knew I she was going to use it, so. <laughs> there are a lot of ways to cheat, actually. You can spread salt on the table, use that to stand the egg up, and then blow the salt away. It's an old bar trick. Oh. But clearly you don't need to do that because, you know, I got these to stand up by themselves. Okay, how do you do it? Show me. I want to know. Oh, it just takes a little bit of practice. I mean, do you, where do you hold it? Now that I'm on it? camera, there's no way I'll be able to... Oh, well, well, there, there you go. go. Now, you talked about your website, badastronomy.com. Badastronomy.com. What the premise of putting together uh, a website that featured bad astronomy? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I started it because of this. Um, a lot of people were spreading this rumor that you can start, uh, you can stand an egg only on the first day of spring, or at least what we call the first day of spring. Mm -hmm. And I decided to write up a page about it, and I've rewritten that page several times over the years. That was, oh my gosh, eight or nine years ago now. Um, but the whole website deals with myths and misconceptions about astronomy from standing up eggs to why the moon looks bigger on the horizon, why the sky is blue. I even have uh, pages about uh, people who think that uh, NASA faked the Apollo moon missions. That was a big deal the uh, past Didn't couple of years. Did uh -oh. they even make a movie about that? Uh, Capricorn 1, where they yeah. faked a Mars mission. That was back in 78. It's a good flick. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, it's been popular enough that I've been able to write magazine and newspaper articles, and I've even written a book. My editor wants me to plug the book. Sure. Uh, bad astronomy. Bad astronomy. Uh, and uh, uh, there it is there. Oh, I knocked my egg over. Well, there you go. I even have a whole chapter about egg standing in here. Everything you wanted to know about an egg, including some details about uh, how eggs are made that you probably don't want to read if you're going out for breakfast that morning. Uh-oh. Uh, but there it is. And uh, it's available actually in bookstores in the area. Uh, do you teach any of this at Sonoma State, or is that a different class over there? I'm actually <laughs> staff at Sonoma State University. We don't have an egg standing class, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I don't teach, but I do research for uh, ah. public outreach using uh, NASA satellites. I see. We have a, a small group there. We do a lot of uh, classroom activities that we develop for students to learn about basic science and math. And uh, we use that to teach them uh, higher level concepts in astronomy. Not necessarily egg standing, but you know, why galaxies are the way they are and, and stuff oh, like that. Oh, I have that. a question. Okay. Is it true, I had heard that um, more babies are born when there's a full moon because that's something to do with the gravitational pull or the mm. high tide. What, is that true or what's the difference? I have heard this. Um, studies have shown, now a lot of people say they call this, call this the uh, full moon effect. They're, uh, emergency rooms are more full, there are more fires yeah. on the full moon. Oh, that's um, because there's more light out and Well, more you know, I've heard that there are studies that have been done that show that that's not true. There's no correlation with the phase of the moon with those sorts of things. However, just the other day, I heard that more babies are born, I th oh boy, let me get this right, on a Tuesday in June on a full moon. I don't know what that means. Is that a statistically significant number or is it just a few more? You know, what, y you have to be very careful with numbers like that. I would have no explanation if that's true. Okay, see, so I, I, I really I don't heard the know. thing about crime, but I heard that mm -hmm. they actually requested the, the well, reports from all of the sheriff's offices and sure. police departments, and that they said that because there was more light, that they were going out and... That's, it's possible, I don't know. Um, but, but scientifically... <laughs> scientifically, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I have heard that there is no statistical correlation with crime in the full moon. People tend to remember things like that. If a, if a policeman is out on the beat and there's a lot of crime or something wacky happens, and it happens to be within day or, a day or two of the full moon, they might remember that better than if it were just a first quarter moon. And so that's, that's one of the reasons that these sorts of things get propagated. People hear it and they remember it or they notice something unusual and they want to correlate it with something that they see. And so that's how these, these things become alive and like a virus, these things are impossible to stop. Yeah. Now see, here it is, the first day of spring. It's at 1116. 
uh, today, uh, California time, and I cannot get this egg to stand up. I can't get mine to stand but either. Did you get yours to stand up? Does it matter which end you go with? You know, on the, it's usually on the wider end, um, there are these little bumps on the end. These are called concretions. I learned this from a poultry veterinarian. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. And those usually uh, help to act like uh, stool legs to get it stand, stood up. I don't know if you can see it on this one. Uh, I have uh, another one that's a, it's a horrifying egg. It's just covered with these things. I feel uh, sorry for the chicken that laid this one. Uh, um, and uh, uh, that usually helps. <laughs> so sorry. Now, I didn't know you could stand an egg on the narrow end. I always assumed it was impossible. I'm, I guess I'm a terrible scientist because I had assumed something I hadn't tried. And some students in Michigan sent me pictures of seven or eight eggs that they had standing up on end on their narrow end. Up oh, there we go. Got it back. Well, I th thank you so much for being here this morning because it just makes science kind of fun. You know, oh, people my pleasure. who always hated science, you know, the, whenever you do demonstrations like this, it always kind of... I love doing this. This is a lot of fun. And remember, it has nothing to do with the equinox. Nothing. <laughs> nothing to do <laughs> with it. That's that. the okay. thing to take away from... See? Well, remember. Yeah, there's, a, there's a picture. Oh, there I am in my old kitchen. With all your yeah. eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. And it's called badastronomy.com. Bad if you'd like to uh, uh, beam it up on the internet or purchase his book, which is also available. Well, Phil, Very thanks for stopping by. exciting now, stuff. Guess what we're going to be doing during commercial break? I mean, I just <laughs> cannot get mine to stand. It well, just the won't. eggs are on me. You can have them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to break it before I'm able to get it yeah. to stand. We're so much frustrated, Wayne. You know. We have much more to come on News Channel 50 Mornings. We're going to take a final look at your morning weather. Brent will be by in just a minute. Nope. Ha, ha, ha.